Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. I'm excited. I just did some cool stuff and I can't wait to show you. I have put SQL Server onto a Linux laptop. Now the struggle here was not getting SQL Server on a Linux laptop. The struggle here was getting a Linux laptop at all. That was a lot of work. Um, but once I got a Linux laptop, once I got it all set up and running, guess what? It was stupid simple to get Docker set up, to download a Docker image of SQL Server 2019, then install, wow, what am I telling you all this for? Let's go look at it. So apologies for the sound. This is probably a little weak, but um, hey, these things happen. What we're running on here is Linux. You've seen Linux? Yes, completely Linux. And if you notice, I've run the uh, sudo docker ps-a, which shows me the um, Docker machines that I have up and running. And you can see that here indeed is SQL Server 2019 CTP1 running inside of Docker, inside of my Ubuntu Linux system. Now, one of the things I've done here is I've, I've used some commands um, to make a directory inside of the Docker storage. And then I copied in the AdventureWorks database. Now, with that, I can then start to do fun stuff. Now, let's open up Azure Data Studio because, yes, in fact, Azure Data Studio runs native inside of um, Linux. And so we've now got this available to us. And if we're already familiar with this running it on Windows, it's all the same over here. Let's go, for example, we could run a new query. But in fact, I've got some things typed out. So we're just going to open up a file. And we've got this one here. Now, if I try to run this, I'm not connected up to a server. So it's going to prompt me to get me connected. Now, I can use my recent history for the place I've already logged into. And I can connect up. And so you see I've run the query, restore file list only, and I'm using the location that I created inside of Docker to return that. And then with that information, getting the logical names, and you'll notice down here the logical names are laid out as you would expect them to be from any other restore that you've ever run inside a SQL Server. And the physical names, the location of the files, is thinking you know that we're installing it to a SQL Server on Windows on the C drive. Now, of course, that means we're going to do restore database from disk using the path inside of my Docker uh, location with move to rename the databases to uh, the data files to a different location. Um, and so we can run a restore. And it runs a restore just like any other restore. Now, this is taking the AdventureWorks 2017 database. And so as part of the restore, it's going to convert it to the new 2019 you know file system and everything so the restore is going to complete and everything's good to go so now let's just run a query let's open file first query we will need to connect it up again using the previous connection and then changing the database to AdventureWorks. There we go. That was harder than it should have been. And now I can run the query and it runs a real query, returns real data. It behaves just exactly as Azure Data Studio does in Windows. And SQL Server is behaving exactly as SQL Server does inside of any other place. So let's go back to here. Let's refresh. And now you see that we have, in fact, storage. Data AdventureWorks is here. Um, the data size, the log size are all displayed inside this thing. If we expand it out over here, we can see AdventureWorks, and then we can control and manipulate it just as if we were doing this anywhere else. And it's all exactly the same as what you're used to dealing with. So that's it. SQL Server on Linux inside of a Docker container 2019 using um, Azure Data Studio to restore the database. This is all just great, great stuff. Now, don't go away. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If this stuff is useful for you, I want you to continue to get it and know that I'm releasing more information. So subscribe, like, comment down below. 
Follow the links down below to get to the Microsoft documentation so you can see how I did all the stuff that I did. Um, it, it's not hard. If I did it, anyone can do it. It's just a question of setting it all up. Now, this opens up the world, frankly, because not only can we have, you know, SQL Server and containers, which is this massive, massive way to get things going, you know, going very quickly, easily, um, do all kinds of fun stuff, uh, especially from a development standpoint. All of that's cool. But then we're moving SQL Server into Linux, and SQL Server and Linux is just, you know, opens up a whole slew of other things that you can do because Linux has functionality that Windows does not. And... So you can take your knowledge of SQL Server, move over to Linux, and do things with that. Further, 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 if you're using Azure Data Studio to get the work done, it runs on Linux. And so you're connected up from a native app just exactly to do everything the same way as you're doing it You know, with what you're doing. So you've got a full-blown SQL Server development environment, and um, it's running on your Linux laptop. So how could you not, you know, be happy? That's great stuff. So that's it. Remember, subscribe, like, all that fun things. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.